such a wonderful, wonderful worship. May the Lord bless you. Praise the name of the Lord. We welcome you to Moments with God. Today we are going to talk about having stamina to overcome severe setbacks. Having stamina, stamina to overcome severe uh, setbacks. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The Lord, our God, who has called us just the way we are, is a God who empowers us. Is a God who gives us a vision. Is a God who has a purpose for each and every one of us. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And therefore, when He calls us, we need to believe that we can be able to do that which He says we can do. We need to have faith in ourselves, also have faith in the Lord who has called us because we are able to fulfill. Mm -hmm. Some of us are not able to do exactly what God tells them to do because they have some setbacks in their lives. But I want to tell you that you are not the first one to have problems. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. When the servant of God, Moses, was called of God, he presented God with a lot of problems that he thought would not help him fulfill what God had, seen, had told him to do. He was being called to be a deliverer. He was being called to be one who would take the children of Israel from Egypt and take them to the promised land. He was being called to be a leader of a mighty army of two million people, taking them to the land that God had in mind. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But he felt he had some shortfalls. He had some setbacks that he could not overcome. One of them being that he was saying he was a stammerer. He had been a stammerer. That was the truth. But God was telling him, I'm the one who created the tongue. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You could be there as a child of God as we are starting this. Um, and God is burdening you and telling you you are equal to the task that God has placed before you. I want to tell you, it is, you can do it. You can do it. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Even when we look into the world, we have great people who accomplished great things. Somebody like John, John D. Rockefeller, who started the Rockefeller Foundation. The, they tell us that he started his a paid of, of $6. And today, his foundation is helping millions of people. We have people right here in our country who started on a very low way, but God helped them. You have former, the, the, the first president and other people who started very lowly, and God used to them. You can be used of God, child of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We had somebody like Abraham Lincoln, a great leader in America, who started in a rock cabin, in a place. Moses started just a shepherd person who, had, who was in somebody's home. But God had great plans for him. God has great plans for you. I want us to read the word of God because uh, the word of God, let us see the word of God in in the book of Daniel, this one I like reading in the book of Daniel, chapter 11 and verses 32. I want us to read that book quickly. And this is what the word of God says because I know God is doing something in your life. And he wants you to believe him. To believe him for what, for what he wants you to accomplish in the life. This is what the word of God says. In that book of Daniel, chapter 32, and such, but I, I want to emphasize more on part B, but such as do wickedly against the covenant shall be corrupted by flatteries, but the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Na wao wafanyao maovu juu ya hilo agano, 
atawapotosha kwa maneno ya kujipendekeza lakini watu wa mjuao Mungu wao watakuwa hodari na kutenda mambo maku. God is believing in you. This is what the word of God is saying. The people that know their God. Some of the people that have accomplished great things they did not have God in them. Some of them later came to know the God afterwards. But here the word of God says the people that know their God and you are there the woman and a servant of God probably and uh, a child of God and God is telling you if you know your God you shall be strong even in difficult circumstances even where you find yourself in setbacks in your life you will be strong and then you shall carry great exploits in the area that God has called you i want you to believe today that God can work in you because you are a one chosen of God Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. All these people is that they had a dream in them. They had the fire that was burning in them. And I believe God has put even salvation in you. That fire of salvation is burning in you. And there are thoughts that are coming. You are wondering whether you shall carry forth that salvation in you. Shall you be able to accomplish it? Even there are some people who fear even getting saved. They say, well... I may not be able to last for long in salvation and I don't want just to try. I want to tell you God is able to make you strong. In that area he is calling you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And then you excel in that particular area yes. and he gives you the ability and the power to accomplish that which he is calling you to. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You need to be devoted to what God is calling you. You need to be devoted to that family that God has called you. And out of that family, he is believing you, you shall bring those children. You shall lead your wife and the others who are depending on you. And you shall do exploit. You shall be excellent in that area of your life. Yes. You shall be able to work for God in that area as a pastor. God is saying you can do it. You can do it. Yes. With the setbacks that you find yourself in, he is saying, I can work with you. You can be strong because you know me. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You know me. I want us also to read another verse in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 17. Ephesians chapter 1 and verses 17. And this is what the word of God says. Uh, chapter 1 and verses 18. And it says, Verses 18, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. This is the prayer of Paul. This is what he is saying. Let us start. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you, starting from verse 17, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that he may he may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You see, this is the prayer of this man of God. He is praying to the, this Ephesians, Ephesian church. And he is telling them that they may, that the Lord may give them understanding. Amen. Knowledge, the revelation, knowledge to understand him. That their eyes may be enlightened. We need our eyes to be enlightened. We need God to, we need the eyes of our spirit to be enlightened so that we may see what God sees. We may see like God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. When he opens your understanding, you are able to see things that the physical eyes cannot see. The eyes of the spirit are able to focus and to see that which is in the mind of God or that which he has planted in you. And you are able to even believe that the resources are there to accomplish what God has already called, called me to do. That's why he was praying here and he's saying, may the eyes of your understanding be enlightened that you may know the hope of, his, of your calling. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You may know that God has called you and what the riches of his glory in his in in his in his inheritance in the saints praise the name of the lord Amen. kuna utajiri mkubwa 
uliofichika. Mungu anahitaji tu kukufungua macho yako uweze kuelewa na uweze kuona kile ambacho unachohitaji wewe mtu wa Mungu kuona. Ninataka kukuambia unaweza kuwa na tatizo nyingi, setbacks ambazo zimekutatiza hivi ya kwamba wakati mwingine huoni kama inawezekana kwako. Unaona mwingine aweza lakini si wewe. Lakini Mungu alimzungumzia Musa akamwambia wewe ndiye. Wewe ndiwe nimechagua katikati ya kusanyiko la watu wangu ya kwamba wewe ndio utakao enda ulete hao watu na ukifika hapa mtaabudu kwa huu mlima maana kwa maono ya Mungu ilikuwa kama imefanyika na alikuwa naona hata Musa akiongoza watu katika mlima wa Sinai akiwapatia zile tora zile zile agano kumi. Bwana asubuhi sana akiwapatia katika mahali pale kwake Mungu ilikuwa a deal done and that is what god is looking at you and he is saying it is a deal done once i get into your life those setbacks you are crying about every day i will give you the stamina i will give you the success that you need to overcome each and every one of them in the name of jesus christ when we get jesus christ into our system He comes in with his supernatural ability and he is able to lift us out of the place that we find ourselves in and we are able to to accomplish things that people sometimes wonder who accomplished these things praise the name of the lord Amen. hallelujah Amen. that is tamara that man who felt so weak he wrote five books of the bible That Tamara, that Moses who was calling on the Lord and telling him that he cannot do it. The word of God says in Acts chapter 7 and verses 22 that he was powerful in words and he was also powerful in actions. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. God made him to become better. He he he, he made him to excel in his speech in his oratory skills god is able to get you out of that problem that you are feeling cannot allow you to go to the next level mm-hmm. praise the name of the lord Amen. you just need to have your eyes open you just need to let that fire of the lord that he has put into your heart burn yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Let it not be extinguished by the setbacks. Let it not be extinguished by the problems and troubles that you find on the way. But let that fire keep on burning. Let those eyes of the spirit see where God is taking you, child of God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Many great people began life in a poor in their poorest humble state of homes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. With little education and no advantage attached to them. But these people performed and they did wonders. You are one of them. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Child of God, you are one of them because Jesus Christ is in your life. Just give your life to him and he start working in you. Just surrender everything that you have to him and he knows the way. He understands the path and he knows your strength. He called you in spite of being weak. Hata kama ulikuwa una nguvu kidogo, Bwana aliziona hizo nguvu zako kidogo. Lakini nguvu zako kidogo sikiongezwa zake Bwana ambao anaoingia ndani yako zinaweza kukamilisha mambo makubwa. Mambo ambao hujafikiri, mambo ambao hujawaza, hiyo inaweza kutendeka kwa ule ambao wako na Mungu pamoja. You can be that person that God is looking for to change the situation. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. In that family that you are living in, in that community you are living in. God is looking unto you and saying you are able to do it. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. However, setbacks might be there, but God is believing in you and I want you also to believe in yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What you need is to know God and you also need to know where he is taking you. Yes. Fix your eyes on him. Amen. He will do the whatever is necessary and he will take you to where you need to be in the name of Jesus Christ. He will give you the spirit of wisdom. He will give you the spirit of revelation. He will give you the spirit of knowledge to do that which you cannot necessarily you, you cannot do katika hali ingine yoyote ile. Bwana asubuhi sana. Hallelujah. Eyes be opened of this servant of the Lord. 
eyes be opened of that child of God, may they be opened so that they may see where God is taking them. I believe in the name of Jesus Christ, this message is for you. Mm. Uh, God wants to strengthen you. God wants to prophesy into your life yes. that you can rise again mm. in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Just as he said to Moses, when you bring those people, you shall worship in this mountain. God is saying, when you, can, you get into, into that place, you will do one to three. He is seeing the end from the beginning in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Though the other thing that you need to realize, adapt to slow pace of others, but do not forget your vision. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. People will pull you down. When you, you, tell, you give them the ideas that God has given you, great ideas become great when the people are ready. Sometimes when you tell people what you want to do, sometimes some of them will tell you it cannot work. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Some of them are not at par with your faith as you are doing the things that God is calling you to. Yes. As you wait on them, because sometimes you may not be able to accomplish that until you carry them through, you carry them together with you. The other thing that you need to is your eyes should continue being focus, focusing on that place that God showed you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. In Exodus chapter 2 and verses 23, Exodus 30, sorry, Exodus 2 and verses and verses 23. Let us look into that verse. Exodus 2 and verses 23. This is what the word of God says. Now it happened in the process of time that the king of Egypt died. Then the children of Israel groaned because of the bondage, and they cried out, and their cry came out to God because of the bondage. So God heard their groaning, and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. Verses, let us go back to verses 11. I, I want to read verses 11. And it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown, that he went out into his, into his brethren and looked on their burdens and spied on the Egyptians, smiting an Hebrew, one of his brethren. And he looked this way and that way, and when he saw there was no man, he slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sad. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, the people that God sends you, just like Moses was sent to his own people, may not realize that you are the man that God is going to use to lift them up. Even in your family, some people we may not realize that the giftings, the packaging that God has put in you is for them, is to promote them, is to lift them out of poverty, out of the area they find themselves in. You are the blessing that they have been waiting all along. Even brethren of Joseph did not understand that Joseph was a blessing to his family. To save them, them at a time, they did not understand. In fact, he met even opposition. Praise the name of the Lord. So people may not be ready when you, when you are being called. And sometimes they may do things they cannot do if they only had the whole picture. Amen. So God is calling you. And here Moses is feeling that fire burning. Even before he was called. He is feeling in him he was called for a purpose. As so many people are feeling today as they are listening to this message. You feel you did not come into this world just like that. There is something that God brought you here to, to do. To accomplish God has a purpose for your life. Moses was feeling it. And even when he went and found this Hebrew and Egyptians having a struggle, he helped the Hebrews. And he thought the Hebrews would understand that he, would, he can help them. He was feeling it within himself. But they did it. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You have to wait for the people, but remember the calling of the Lord. Moses had to remember he had to wait for his people to come to power with him, to understand what God wants to do with their life. 
He was patient. He, he needed to be patient with them. But he also needed to look at the Lord who is calling. And who is counting it as though it's already accomplished. I want to tell you today that God has already accomplished that which he is calling you to. In his, in his mind, in his vision, is already accomplished, is already done. And it is you who will accomplish that thing. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Resources might not be right. Everything might not be right. But he is putting that fire in you and telling you it can be done. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It can be done. Those people who accomplished great things, they always found that they felt that fire in them. Even when they had nothing, they still continued. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. The Manderas of this world, they continued even in jail. They continued trusting and the fire kept on burning. I'm speaking to somebody today. Yeah. God is telling you, you are here for a purpose. Yes. You, those people you thought they needed to understand, they may not understand right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. As you wait on them, yeah. focus on God. Yes. Because he is the one who has put that burden mm -hmm. in your life in the name of Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. People may not understand Moses. Yes. Your brothers may not understand you. Yes. Yourself, your brothers may not understand you. Yes. But you are here for a purpose. Yes. You are programmed to accomplish some, something. Yes. And I'm telling you, you are programmed by God from yes. heaven to accomplish yes. something. Yes. The moment Jesus Christ entered into your life, yes. you ch he changed you. Yes. And he put something of his in you. Yes. That has been working. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. To the contrary, the other things have not been as easy as it is. But I want you to continue hoping and holding unto that faith that he put in you. Holding unto that word that works wonders mm -hmm. in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Watoto wako wanaweza kufika kiwango kile ambacho wewe umekuwa ukiomba katika maombi yako umekuwa ukiaminia mambo makubwa lakini tazama unaangalia hali yako setback zile uko nazo katika maisha na unaona ya kwamba haiwezekani Lakini nataka kukuambia binguni sivile. Inaonekane ya kwamba mambo makubwa yaweza kamirishwa na mtu akiwa pamoja na Mungu Hallelujah. Amen. Gideon alikuwa anajifikiri vile vile. Watu wengi wanapoitwa na Mungu wanakuwa naona udhaifu wao. Gideon anasema mimi ni munyonge. Klani yetu ndio ndogo zaidi. Lakini Mungu anasema toka kwa nguvu hizo zilizo ndani yako. Ukamilishe yale mambo ambao nimekutuma ukamilishe. Bwana asubuhi sana. Amen. Kwa hivyo ninataka kukuambia wewe mtoto wa Mungu ya kwamba Mungu ni pamoja na wewe. Na Mungu anataka kukamilisha mambo makubwa katika maisha yako. Bwana asubuhi sana. Amen. Wacha kuogopa katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Nikimalizia na andiko hili ambalo ni la mwisho. It is in Exodus 12 and verses 35. God is continuing encouraging. He encourages us when he calls us and he tells us things Keep us moving. Exodus chapter 12 and verses 35. 35. This is what the word of God says. Exodus 12. Exodus 12. 12 and, that, and verses 35. Um, this is what the word of God says. Now the children of Israel had done according to the word of Moses. And they asked from the Egyptians articles of silver Articles of silver, articles of gold, and clothing. And the Lord had given the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. So they granted them whatever they requested. Thus they plundered the Egyptians. God gave them the favor. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You know, initially as they were starting, they never thought anything like this would ever happen. These people hated them, but God has turned their hearts around. I want to tell you, your vision is greater than you. What God wants you to finish or to accomplish is greater than you, the person that he has called to accomplish that. Don't equate yourself with the vision or with the purpose that God is calling you to. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The things that God wants to 
accomplish that which he has called you to accomplish, he knows where they are. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You just need to look around. Like these people that were being told that everything was with the Egyptians. I'll give you favor before the Egyptians. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And you are there. And I'm telling you, child of God, that God is telling you that you have everything because you have him. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Don't fear your setback. The resources are already prepared somewhere. Mm -hmm. God will help you. Yes. You will rise above those setbacks. Mm -hmm. And in the name of Jesus Christ, you will triumph. Yes. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you. Mm -hmm. We are the Lord, God Almighty. Yes. Who was, who is, and who shall ever be. Yes. We look to you because of your children mm -hmm. who are looking unto you now. Mm -hmm. Because they feel that fire mm -hmm. of purpose in their life. Yes. May you convince them that you are there for them. You can help them mm -hmm. to accomplish that which they think is so difficult for them. Mm -hmm. Because with you, nothing is impossible. We bless you. We honor you. For you are doing it now. For it is in Jesus' precious and holy name we pray. Amen. As you are there, we also want to remind you that you can give your life to Jesus Christ and he can start with you. And you can say these words with me and Jesus Christ will cleanse you of all your sins and you become a child of God today. Father, I repent of all my sins. I come to you. I come to you. Forgive, me. Forgive me. I want to start a new with you. I want to start a new with you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For accepting me. For accepting me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For cleansing me with your blood. For cleansing me with your blood. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You are now a child of God. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Um Bishop John Kamande Joroge of Glory Celebration Church. Thank you very much for listening to this message. God bless you.